Built for maximum organization on epic days or short trips, the SEG 30 combines the best assets of a backpack and packing cubes into one convenient and minimalist design. Access the full 30 liters of the pack through the four segmented zipper pockets, organizing items by type, day, or activity. Separate large items or dirty clothes by stowing them in the oversized clamshell pocket. The padded, externally accessed sleeve keeps your laptop accessible and protected. Keep your water bottle clean and within reach with the externally accessed water bottle pocket. Comfortable shoulder straps make for easy travel with this carry-on compliant pack. Made from waterproof nylon with a UTS Ultra Tear Strength coating, this pack is both durable and weatherproof. With Matador's SEG 30 Travel Backpack, everything is just one zip away. Holtzbrook Axe Heads are hand forged at the facility located just outside of Norrköping in southern Sweden, which has been in operation since 1697. Each head is struck around 70 times to create the right shape and density. The head is made of Swedish carbon steel and has a 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter hardened and tempered zone with a hardness of 55 Rockwell C, which creates a durable and sharp edge even after many sharpenings. The American hickory handle is hand sanded and oiled with several coats of linseed to condition and protect the wood. The Holtzbrook Kisa is a medium-sized felling axe for medium to heavy work. The axe is compact enough to be easily carried, yet efficient at chopping, limbing, and other related work. The axe has a head weight of 2 pounds, or 900 grams, and a total weight of 1.85 pounds, or 1300 grams, and a handle length of 26 inches, or 65 centimeters. The Kisa is named after a small village just south of the factory. Information about maintenance, rehandling, sharpening, and even about vintage Holtzbrook axes. It features full tank construction with a 420 high carbon serrated edge blade for strength and versatility. It's coated in black ceramic for low profile use and corrosion resistance. The knife's handle has a rubber overmold engineered with a diamond texture for superior grip in all conditions. The modular sheath has snapped together components that allow you to mount the knife in multiple ways, using molly or vertically or horizontally on a standard tactical belt. Proudly built in Portland, Oregon, this is the strong arm fixed blade knife. Built from lightweight nylon with a waterproof PU coating, this ground cover is designed to keep you dry in dewy grass, mid-hike, or wherever you want to take a seat. The full-size version seats two to four people and includes attached corrosion-resistant ultralight stakes to prevent the blanket from lifting in the wind, while the Mini seats one to two. Pack both sizes away into their respective power mesh cases using the Easy Pack pattern stitching. Simply fold in half along the seams and continue to fold along the lines of the pattern until you can slide the case over the pocket blanket. The case for the pocket blanket mini accommodates a key ring or carabiner so you can attach it to the outside of your pack or keychain. Never be without a place to sit with the pocket blanket and pocket blanket mini. The Yeti 200X are newest and smallest of the Yeti lineup. At five pounds, this bad boy is seven pounds lighter than the old Yeti 150, so it's just that much easier to pick up, grab and go, throw in the car, whatever you gotta do. Compared to the Yeti 150, the Yeti 200X has been improved in every way, size, weight, and performance. The inverter is stronger at 120 watts with a 300 watt surge. 
We've got four USB ports. The two on the outside are 2.4 amp USB A's. And then the two in the middle, the smaller ones, are the new USB C's. One USB C will output up to 18 watts to your devices. The other is a 60 watt power delivery port that can be used not just as an output, but also as an input. Our 12 volt has a 10 amp shared port, so both our LAL 6 millimeter port and the cigarette port can put out 10 amps worth of power. When it comes time to charge this little battery, what we've actually done is put the input port on the back for the first time. So now we charge right through here, same way we did before from the front. From the wall, we can charge at 50 watts. So this thing's gonna take about three and a half hours to charge up, but we can actually maximize a better solar experience now that we have a maximum power point tracker charge controller in this thing, instead of the old PWM charge controller. If we put a 100 watt solar panel on there, we can charge this thing up in about three hours. You can also charge it from the car with our car charging cable. If you use our five amp setting, you can plug it right into the cigarette port. So while you're traveling, you can be charging this thing up. Lastly, the Yeti 200X can be charged using the USB-C power delivery port. Probably by now you're wondering what this guy can power. Pretty much it's a small device powerhouse. It can run anything that's going to be charged off of USBs and of course it's fully Goal Zero compatible. So anything from our lanterns to our camping lights, any of our smaller battery packs that you'd want to plug in, keep those charged just fine. Outside of Goal Zero devices, is we can charge a ton of things like GoPros, laptops, and even most small tool batteries. All we really have to do is plug it into the USB-C port. Don't forget to turn that port on to make sure that we are pushing some power. And our GoPro, it will be charged shortly. Outside of that, we can also use any laptops, tablets, anything else, as we're gonna see more and more USB-C coming out in the world. If I'm out there and I need a little bit of construction power, this guy is strong enough to recharge almost all small tool batteries. So if I plug into our inverter and I turn that AC port on, now I'll be building a shed in no time. In short guys, the Yeti 200X Lithium is a great accessory for your camping experience.